Ok anak-anak, Assalamualaikum. Kita sambung video nombor 2. Video 2. Ok. Just now I have given to you the formula how to calculate, calculate the fair value. Ok, once we have calculated the fair value, so we need to compare the fair value we got, ok, with the actual price or market price. So what is actual price or market price? It is the price that is currently trading in the futures market. Ha, normally yang harga yang dia bagi dekat soalan, dekat pasaran tu lah. That is the uh, actual price ataupun harga harga dijual. The market price. Okay. Okay, whenever the actual price or market price is above the fair value you have calculated. So, it is overpriced. Why? Because fair value is lower. Market price is higher. Maksudnya, di pasaran lebih tinggi. Dia mahal. Dia telah dinilai lebih. That's why we call it over overpriced. Example, alright, you calculated the fair value and you got RM900 or RM900. The current market price of the futures given to you is RM1000. So, what does it mean? The market price is higher than the fair value. So, it is overpriced. Mean arbitrage should sell the futures contract and buy the physical CPO simultaneously today. Why you should sell the futures contract? Sebab harga dia tinggi di pasaran. Okay? Alright. But what if... Okay? What if the actual market price is below the fair value? Alright? So, if this is below the fair value, it is underpriced. Example, you calculated the fair value, you get RM1,100. Why the market price is 1000 as you can see, market price is lower than the fair value. So, it is underpriced. Di pasaran, dia murah. So, when futures contract is murah, is cheap in the pasaran, in the market, what should we do? We should, the arbitrager should buy futures contract and simultaneously sell physical CPO in the cash market. Okay? Alright. So, kita tengok example. Let's take a look at this example. As a professional arbitrager, you observed. Okay. Make sure you have pens with you, calculator with you. Okay. So that you can write down and try the calculation together with me. Okay. You observe that at the end of the uh, at the end of August, the spot price of CPO. Okay. Harga real CPO, physical CPO is 1175 ringgit, While the September futures given to you is trading at... 1265 ringgit. Okay? Assume that the cost of storage or carrying cost dia bagi berapa? 12 ringgit, 12 ringgit per month per ton. And the risk free rate is 5.5%. Show the arbitrage profit if any for 250 tons of CPO. Okay? So before we answer, let's highlight let's highlight what are given to us, okay? Dia bagi kat kita Given as at today, end of August, 31st August, uh, the price of CPO, the market price of September of CPO, the storage cost, alright, make sure you multiply, multiply with 12 months because I want the carrying cost per ton per year, okay? The interest rate 5.5% and the number of tons is 250 tons, okay? Alright, so how to calculate the fair value? Okay, before we calculate the fair value, we have to determine the T first. Alright, the T. Okay, alright, how to calculate the T, the number of days to maturity? Okay, today kita is August 31st, so only one day. And then, September, alright, please don't forget the maturity date for FCPO contract is on every 50th of the month. So, maksudnya 1 hingga 15 lah. So, how many days? 15 days. So, all together, the number of days is 16 days. You really have to calculate the real number of days when we do uh, arbitrage question. Alright, in case sambil-sambil tu, you can also calculate the number of contract, 250 uh, tons of uh, CPO divided with 25 tons per contract. Alright, remember that always 25 tons per contract of FCPO equals to 10 contract. Okay, let's go back to the calculation of fair value. So, you put in all the figures in the formula. This is the spot price value. Okay. Alright, kalau you termis, alright, you uh, patah balik sikit video ni. Tengok balik eh. Or buka balik video number 1 tadi. Alright. Oh, actually you can also refer your book. Okay, everything is in your textbook. Okay. And then, you times with, uh, you plus with 1 plus 0.55% interest rate times 16 over 365 days. And then you plus the carrying cost per year times how many days you are going to store the uh, the, 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 the CPO dekat 
gudang tu 16 hari over 365 days so you will get rm1184 because that is the fair value and then after you get the fair value okay we will compare it to the actual price or market price okay fair value 1184 the market price of the September FCPO given to you, 1265 So, as you can see, the market price is higher than the uh, fair value. So, what does it mean? It is overpriced. Okay, see? So, it is since it is overpriced, therefore, we should sell September CPO futures contract. And at the same time, we will buy physical CPO in the cash market. So far, so good? So good so far. Okay. Alright, so I have summarized, okay, the calculation just now and then we compare, kita dapat overpriced, then we decide here to sell. How, how, did, how did we get 10 contract? Tadilah, 250 uh, times bahagi 25 dapat 10. So, as you can see here, we sell 10 FCPO contract, 10 September FCPO contract at 1265. So, simultaneously, dekat cash market, we will buy 250 tons of physical CPO. Uh, okay, but normally for arbitrage, dia tak bagi tau. Question kita memang syllabus UITM, no prizes at maturity given. Alright, kalau ada prizes of maturity given, what will happen? If you buy 250 tons here, then you will sell to the potential buyer. If we sell contract kat sini, we will close up buy. But normally, uh, in our syllabus, no prizes at maturity will be given in both markets. So, what you need to do is just... Alright, uh, to mention what you are going to do, you will hold the 250 tons of CPO and then you will arrange the uh, the physical delivery to the designated third port or to the potential buyer. Alright, what happened next also, you will deliver lah. Alright, the 250 tons of CPO through the Bursa Malaysia Clearing House for cash. Uh, ini maksudnya, kita jual lah. Kita jual balik the CPO that we have bought. At the same time, we will close out the uh, futures contract in the futures market. Okay, uh, you just have to remember this, and you also have to remember no prizes are given at maturity in these two market data bagi. Okay, all right. Okay, so how to calculate the arbitrage profit? Okay, all right. Uh, okay, this is how you, uh, you can calculate first. In the futures market, revenue from selling the futures contract, 10 contract times 75 metric ton, time harga kita uh, jual, this is the profit. And in the cash market, alright, uh, there are three things happen in the cash market. First and foremost, the cost of purchase of 250 ton of CPO, alright, this is the cost of purchase. And then, to buy the CPO, you can pinjam lah duit where will you get the money from the borrowing, alright. So, since you borrow to buy the CPO, the real physical CPO, so you have to pay the interest for how many days you borrow? 16 days. So this is the amount of interest you have to pay. And finally, you also have to pay the cost of storage for carrying 250 tons of CPO. Sebab tadi kita dah cari per year, so times 250 times, how many days you uh, have to pay? For 16 days, over 365, this is the cost of storage. So as you can see, in the cash market, all are actually your outflow of money. The inflow will only come merely from the revenue from futures market. So, this is your gross profit. Okay. So, that's video number two. Let's proceed to video number three.